But is it the kind of delicious that we want? No, this is the American way with too much stuff. Yeah, this is the this is the Belgian waffle. We want the waffle from Liège. Yeah. Oh, this is the one. This is the one. Oh yeah. yeah. A couple of months ago, I went to visit my birth city of Brussels, located in Belgium. If you don't know where Belgium is, well, it's a small country that is kind of stuck in between Holland, France, and Germany. And its beaches are facing La Mer du Nord, or for English speakers, the Northern Sea. We're also known for fries, and I'll be honest, my heart always sinks when people refer to fries as French fries, because Belgians were, after all, the original inventor of the fries. Just for a small history lesson, during World War I, American soldiers were stationed in Belgium, but they believed they were situated in France. After being introduced to the sumptuous, delicate taste of fries, the soldiers nicknamed the fries that they ate French fries. It's a sad truth, but I just wanted to set things straight. And yes, we do use mayo on fries, and I can see you guys frowning. But the mayo in Europe is kind of different than what we serve here in America. Well, just next time you're in Belgium, just try a good Belgian fry and dip it in mayo, and maybe you'll change your mind on how to eat them. But in the end, there's nothing wrong with ketchup. Anyways, back on topic. I went to Brussels, and on one day during my vacation, I invited my friend Ivan Reikmans on an epic quest to find the most delicious waffle in Brussels. Mm. Are we gonna find the waffle? Oh yeah. Can you smell it? You see, it fills you, it fills you with joy, pleasure. <laughs> As you can see, Belgium is specialized in chocolate. There's chocolates everywhere. Pralines, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate. It's just amazing. You should taste it. It smells so good in the streets all the time, but unfortunately you're not in Belgium, so you can't really smell it, but I'll <laughs> eat them for you. It's true that in America we have waffles, but usually they only serve Belgian waffles. In Belgium, we actually have hundreds of varieties of waffles. There's the Belgian waffle, Liège waffle, egg waffle, pizzelle, potato waffle, stroop waffle, toaster waffle, waffle cone, waffle pie, butter waffle, and many more. <laughs> Honestly, I'm starting to sound kind of like Bubba and Forrest Gump when he speaks about shrimp. Shrimp is the fruit of the sea. You can barbecue it, boil it, brawl it, bake it, saute it, pan fry, deep fry, stir fry. There's pineapple shrimp, shrimp and potatoes, shrimp burger, shrimp sandwich. That's, that's about it. Anyways, we went on an epic quest to find the best waffle. And not just any waffle. We went to find the waffle from Liège, which is sold for around 2-3 to three euros from many shops around the city and differentiates itself from other waffles because of its doughy texture and melted sugar inside the batter. When you buy one, traditionally, they put a small sheet of paper around it and hand it to you so that you can eat it hot while you are walking, kind of like how they serve pretzels in America. In order to find this waffle, we met up in the city center of Brussels and more specifically at De Brouquet, which is in the heart of the city and features the Piétonnier. Piétonnier, it's a big square in, in Brussels where... Um, also today it's actually the day without cars, so it's even more people, but they're trying to do this whole thing where they don't want to have cars in the center of the city. So uh, they basically blocked one of the busiest streets of Belgium and they made it into this uh, walking place. It's called Piétonnier in, in French. And uh, yeah, it's crazy. And uh, as you can tell, they have so many, so many works, which is kind of horrible. But I guess it's going to be good in the end. I hope so. I really hope that Belgium uh, makes something good out of this. Basically, this is the Belgian way of making a pretty large section of the center of the city car-free. The area's adaptation started in 2015 and apparently is supposed to already be 70% complete. And here are some more improvements from Belgium. Well, as you can see, there's still a ton of works happening here and it doesn't look anywhere complete yet. You see, the thing about Belgium is that as far as I can remember, the city has always had a ton of construction going on everywhere and I don't think that's going to stop. I guess that taxpayers' money is being used for something, but sometimes I wonder when they build something and then demolish it to rebuild it again every couple of months if there isn't a better way to do things. I'm not complaining, just making an observation. Well, once in the city, we started exploring some of the galleries around Brussels. In the Galerie de la Reine, we did see another specialty of Belgium, and that is Belgian chocolates. You see, Belgium is one of those countries that pioneered chocolate making, 
Although the history of chocolate is somewhat sad, Belgium delved into chocolate making when they first colonized the Congo and found a surplus of cocoa beans. The king of Belgium at the time, Leopold III, then made Belgium the number one trader of cocoa and chocolate. Here's a little trivia fact for you. Jean Newhouse, ironically from Switzerland, was the chocolate maker that actually put Belgian chocolate on the map. Walking our way through the little city streets of Brussels, we end up in La Grande Place, which in English would translate to the Great Square. And here we are at La Grande Place. This is the center of Brussels. One of the most popular streets for tourists. It's beautiful, it's amazing. Everything is with paint of gold. This is basically the most central place in the city of Brussels, which is surrounded by beautiful buildings built in the style of the 17th century. But behind us, we have one of the most famous cathedrals in uh, Belgium. It's at La Grande Place. We are and the, the great place. The, the thing about it that's really, really no known about this uh, cathedral behind us is that actually it's not very even. Okay. So apparently the architect who, uh, who uh, created this cathedral like killed himself because he was very unhappy that he measured the things wrong. I don't know how he could have measured it wrong, but yeah. anyways, it's, it's kind of interesting that we're here. Yeah, he drank too much beer. Yeah, maybe. it's still a beautiful cathedral. I, I love it. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, look at that. But it's Belgium, so they do drink a lot of beer. Yeah, it's maybe yeah. because of that. Oh, could be. He made a yeah, mistake. On our quest, we just bumped into the little mannequin piece. He's the little peeing boy of Brussels. So legend says that there was a, well, there was a really big fire in Belgium yeah. a couple hundred years ago. And this little boy, the mannequin, the little boy that's peeing, he actually extinguished the fire by peeing on it. It's Incredible. amazing, right? Yeah, yeah. it's, it's and, a Belgian one. Huh? Yeah, well, you know, if you drink too much beer, yeah, always. <laughs> then you're going to have to go to the toilet. It can help, it yeah, can help. Yeah, it can help, it can help. But he's a little boy, so he shouldn't be drinking. But it was other times. Oh, yeah. We, we yeah, won't think about story. that. Yeah, it's, it's a long story. But, but yeah, that's the, the legend yeah. of the little boy that's peeing. Like you, my friend. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Like yeah, you look alike a little bit, huh? Kind of, right? Yeah, I, I like think that. so, too. I think so, too. Oh, it's as big as you. Nice. On another note, Belgium is known to have some pretty big murals that are based on Belgian comic strips. We're still on our quest for the best waffle in Brussels, but we found this. Tintin and Tintin. Snowy and Captain yeah. Haddock. You see, Belgium has a distinct subgroup of comics that played a major role in the development of European comics alongside France. Belgium being split between Dutch speakers and French speakers has comics that pertain to both regions and which have influenced one another culturally. Some of these comics have also been adapted into movies and cartoons. The most notable and popular ones throughout the world are The Adventures of Tintin. And also the Smurfs, which was very popular a couple of years ago and had a really fun cartoon and also has a couple of live action films that came out a couple of years ago. Back in the 90s, they also had adapted Marsupilami as an American cartoon, which had a lot of success at the time. Looky what we found again, Tintin, my good old friend Tintin. And once again, for people who don't know who Tintin is, well, he's the same guy that Steven Spielberg used in oh, his movie a couple of years yeah. ago, Tintin and the Secret of the Unicorn. The That's Belgium. Tintin, yeah. but it's based on a comic strip from Brussels. There's literally hundreds of other types of Belgian comic strips. Most of them are much less known to non-French and Dutch speaking countries. If you have a chance to do a quick Google search and discover some of them, you might be amazed at how fun and colorful they look. What? Do you smell it? No. I think we found it. Oh yeah. It's the waffle that we've been looking for. Oh, it's so delicious with the sugar. Come on, let's go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Can we get two waffles? Please. Just, just with sugar. What I love about Liege waffles is the thicker batter, which is similar to bread dough, and has a distinct shape with its uneven edges. Pearl sugar is mixed inside the dough, which caramelizes it when cooked. Yep, yep, yep. This is it. This is oh. it. Thank you so much. Enjoy, my friend. I will. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. That was so good. Mm. You guys don't know what you're missing. Mm. There's all this sugar mm. that's like falling all over me. Mm. I need it. There's sugar. Mm. There's sugar that's like okay, nice. cooked snowy, snowy. inside. Mm. The waffle. It's like caramelized. It's it's just so delicious. Mm. It mm. melts. Mm. It melts mm. in your mm. mouth. I just take a bite and it just goes everywhere. But I don't mind. Mm. It's just so good. Mm. Like, uh, yeah, but yeah, uh, it's like, mm. it's like I'm falling in love. 
Oh, yeah. No. It's sensual. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's how good Belgian food is. Cheers and, to that. And honestly, <laughs> I'm not getting paid for this. It's not a sponsorship, but... But it would be food, a great idea. Yeah. Mm. Mm. If you want to sponsor me in waffles, I'll, I'll, I'll have waffles every yeah, day. Yeah, we'll eat. Yeah, every day. But yeah, it's oh. just mm, it's so good. I can help also. For yeah. chocolate. Not for chocolate. But mm. definitely, it was worth it for me to just take a trip with the plane all the way to Belgium just for this just waffle. For waffle. Taking my plane back tonight. Yeah, come, come back when you want. Yeah, whenever when I want the waffle. Yeah. yeah, just mm. come back. Mm. Then you go back. It's so good. No. Mm. <laughs> That's it. This was our journey in the center of Brussels on our epic quest to find the most delicious waffle in Belgium. <laughs> Although we did end up going to another cafe after having had our dessert in order to have the dessert that was for the dessert that we had earlier on. Well, well, anyways, it was delicious. <laughs> we're gonna have some dessert and we're gonna have some hot chocolate. Some hot chocolate. Because as you all know, Belgium does some really, really awesome oh, yeah. chocolate. And we and, know uh, the best one from yep, Brussels. So Cheers! Mm. So delicious. But we're always saying stuff is delicious. Good texture. You exactly, know, exactly. Strong. But on the last note, just uh, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. And if you want to see more videos with Ivan, I can do some more with him. Yeah. Just let me know and... Uh, Will be a pleasure. And it'll happen. To discover okay. more of Brussels, maybe. Exactly. Have a great day and see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.